If you're pretty. <laughs> Please welcome Jeff Foxworthy, everybody. to see you. you. You need to come do the fifth grader show. You know, I, I don't know, I actually don't know if I know the ca uh, country Budapest is the capital of. What was it? Uh, yeah. hung Hungary. Hungary, yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, she but didn't know Hungary was a country either, so. Uh, <laughs> or she Turkey. Was, she was pretty. Kelly Pickler, uh, you, you know, from American Idol. That's yeah. who that was. And, uh, was it? And, and that's like one of the most hit things on YouTube. It's the, her whole thing. It's beautiful. Really? I haven't, I haven't seen the whole thing. I need yeah. to watch it. Hey, are you, uh, are you a good golfer? Terrible. Awful. Terrible. Hence the book. Hence I the guess. book. Yeah. I, really, I would not write a book on how to be good at golf. I, I've been chairman of the, uh, uh, the Duke Children's Hospital does a golf tournament for like the last 12 years, and I've done that and played in all these charity things. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, but do you play golf? No, not at all. I'm Scottish. Really? No, no, no. I, <laughs> we I never were, play golf. I thought you were required Oh, not that golf. old thing again, yeah. Scottish people. We don't all know each other, you know. <laughs> No, that's in the <laughs> South, we do that. But. No, actually, I think I'm the only person in my family that doesn't play golf, including the pets. Well, yeah. within golf, there's only 2% of the people that are any good, and the rest of us stink. And, and, and the ones that stink are always frustrated, and you always leave upset. And I'm yeah. like, we know the limits of being good from Tiger Woods. Why not explore the other end of the spectrum? Okay, so that's well, what that's about. And see, you, you, need a, you need a book to help well, people well, be yeah, bad like, at it? It's like... Well, you have to let it go and have fun. Like, I mean, right off the bat, don't warm up. But because my theory is you're only going to hit four good shots all day. Don't waste one on the drive. Go right to the That's first tee. That's smart day. thinking. That's smart thinking. Yeah. All right. If you hit it in the woods, I always see the good golfers will chip it back out and play. I say if you can see a sliver of daylight... Go for, Go for it. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because more than a good score, 10 years down the road, you're, people want a good story to tell. And if it comes off a tree, hits you in the head, and you throw up all over yourself, you're going to be talking about that 10 years down the road. You know, you're right. I really, that's my whole life is based on that. Yeah, because, you've got some good stories. For, <laughs> well, and I you don't even remember half of them. I know, them. I know. That's the truth of it. I, my dad, when I was playing uh, pool with my dad, he would always hit the, hit the, the ball really hard. And I'm saying, Dad, if you just tap it, it's going to go in the pocket. And he went, I don't care about putting the ball in the pocket. I like the noise that it makes when yeah. it rattles off the time. <laughs> he was playing his own game. Don't you think maybe you're playing your own game here? You I know? think I probably am, but it's it's much more fun this way. Yeah, do you wear those little outfits like the little pink uh, pants and no, all that kind of I, golf you, course? I'm, uh, rednecks don't wear it. My, 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 my country club has a sign up front that says, Truckers Welcome. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> No, I don't do all that. Now, the, the redneck thing, I, uh, you know, you might be a redneck. If you, you know my people are the original rednecks. I, do, I was yeah, going to ask yeah, you, yeah, do, yeah, do yeah. you have rednecks, right? Yeah, well, of course. The, the Scots-Irish going, going down to the south, that's what were the original rednecks. We came over in trucks. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> We can, uh, that, all that. Hey, well, I've always defined it as a glorious absence of sophistication. That's yeah. my people! <laughs> and when you think about who the first people to come to the United States, they weren't sending the top of the pecking order That's over, you right. know? That's right! It was like, I say, Lord Percy, uh, let's no. go to America! Capital idea! No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it's somebody hanging off the front of the boat going, <laughs> Woo! Yo, watch this! You know, it's... <laughs> Yeah, that's a, it, the accent's uh, different, but the heart is the same now, in these things. What do you call them in Scotland, though? Uh, well, we call them, uh, well, uh, I guess, uh, chancers is what we call them. Chancers. You call them a chancer, yeah. You chance your, your life when you get involved in any kind of uh, discussion or anything with these people. Uh, a chancer, <laughs> oh. or, or they're willing to chance anything at all. You call them a chancer. Or, uh, or maybe just a redneck. You can yeah. call him a redneck. <laughs> because we speak English over there, and we don't all know each other. It's a lot like the South. It's a yeah, lot like the South. Uh, Actually, I always, I always had a good time in the South. What part of the South are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta, all right. Well, that's a very sophisticated urban environment, Atlanta, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but you don't have to get too far out no, before you're looking yeah, for UFOs. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's true, yeah. It's funny, you get there and it's all Dana Chica, hip hop, a dee dee, and then you drive for 20 miles and it's ding 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 ding. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Well, hey, I remember back when they just, they were going to bring the Olympics to Georgia, and this is no lie, where they did the kayak races for the Olympics was the same river that they filmed Deliverance on. Ah, there you go. And well, I, get me moving yeah. and take <laughs> Well, that's, that was my thought. I thought, you know, if Ned Beatty can't make it down this thing in one piece, what chance does a Frenchman have in a pair of bicycle pants? That's, uh... <laughs> that's the best moment that's of my day. That's, 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 uh... It's true. It's true. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> Have you ever seen a Frenchman in a pair of bicycle uh, pants? <laughs> God, it's beautiful, yeah. man. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I know they are the forbidden women. Uh, <laughs> now, do you, do you, now do you, I was going to ask you, does, does the work travel abroad? I mean, you, you're hugely popular in the U.S., but could you do a, a stand-up show in France, maybe? Or? Yeah, I don't know about France, but, but I understand, you know, we did the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Right, and, yeah, and, and they said yeah. they loved it in the U.K., so I would love to go over there. And, well, they, and they are kind of, like I told you, they're yeah. rednecks over there. That's yeah, I remember from. doing a show years ago, and I first started doing the redneck jokes, and I was in Nashville, and Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin yeah. came to the show, and he said, I heard you on the radio. He said, doing the redneck jokes, and I grew up in Birmingham, and he said, and the guys in London used to call us a bunch of hicks. And, yeah, yeah, that's right. And I'm thinking, yeah. Robert Plant likes redneck jokes? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, yes, when he's not singing, oh, the Madrigal. <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah, like yeah, all that. that. <laughs> Going to California. <laughs> da, da, da. Was that... Was that your thing growing up, Led Zeppelin, that kind of yeah, rock? Yeah, you know, well, I mean, I've, I, I, I love country music now, but yeah. growing up, I was the rock and roll. Yeah, guy, I love so. the old Led Zeppelin. But you don't want to, have you ever done comedy for the old rock and roll thing? What, 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 Open you, up. Do, do, oh, I, no, no, you, you mustn't do that. I yeah. did. That's when I, the, one of the first gigs I ever did opening up for somebody big was at Daytona Beach, spring, college spring break, oh, God. middle of the day, and I was between the heavy metal band Poison yeah. and the Hawaiian Tropic Bikini Contest. <laughs> Get rid of the girls, we want humor! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much, you want to rock and roll? <laughs> you want to see beautiful women in bikinis? <laughs> okay, but first! <laughs> Oh, they God. were throwing beer at me before oh, I ever I made it to the microphone. Well, that's what they used. When I started off doing comedy in Scotland, they had no comedy clubs. So what they would do, they had, they had discos uh, or dance halls. Oh. They would stop the music and go, well, that's enough music. Now, <laughs> now here's a guy that thinks he's funny. <laughs> I'm like, hello, everybody. Hey, how about those airline peanuts? <laughs> 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 it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. You don't get that now, though. I mean, you're like a rock star the way you go around. Now you play the giant arenas yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but you know what? That, that was always the fun stuff, the yeah. early days, you know, when, when nobody knew. I, I did a show one night. It was, uh, uh, it, it was at an amphitheater when I was starting out. They said, nobody's going to listen. Just go out there and do your 15 minutes. And, and you sure enough, the first five nobody listened but then they started paying attention by the by the end of it i was killing and i thought man this is great nobody knows me and i've come out here and i got him and i walk off the stage and the mc runs out to the microphone and goes ladies and gentlemen how about another hand for jerry farborough <laughs> 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 Oh, we got we got to go. We're out of time. But, ladies and gentlemen, how about another hand for Jerry Farber? <laughs> Jerry Farber. Welcome, Jeff Foxworthy, everybody. Jeff Foxworthy. Hey, Jeff. Hey, How Craig. are you? I'm great, you. Good, 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 good. I'm sorry that I called the book How Do You How to Stink at Golf. Love the one I wrote last year was How to Really Stink at Golf. I know, that's the one I was thinking about. Yeah, right. <laughs> But it's good. To, uh, now, this is very good. It's how to uh, really stink at work. Is this, is this something that you really need to know? Um, well, you know, well, the, the, the thing started, Brian Hart, who I wrote it with, was a writer when we were doing Blue Collar TV. And one right. day we're sitting around and he said, knowing you as a comedian, I can't imagine that you actually worked at IBM for five years. Did you really? I did. Right. And Well, I said to him, I said, well, Brian, I was there for five years. Right. But, and, and then the, the, we got to talking about this and everybody knew this person because we would, we would work 
three times as hard not to work. You know, I mean, we wanted the paycheck. Right, 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 right. But so just you... to shave a little time off the day. Like we had a boss that would circle the office and always look over your shoulder. We worked in dispatch. So we would wait till he walked out of his office and we'd let him get about 30 feet. And then we would dial his number and he would hear his phone ring and he would run back in to get it. And as soon as he got to the desk, we would hang up. And we would do this to the guy like 20 times a day. I'm going to do that to Larry. Yeah. It's not tomorrow. That's awesome. Well, and it became the challenge. Like the guy Dave that worked next to me would deliberately leave his car lights on every morning. And then somebody would come in and go, Dave, you left your car lights on. And so the time it took to walk out and turn them <laughs> off and come back was another 10 minutes off the work day. So. And, and, this is, and this is a book? Yeah. Uh, is this legal? <laughs> well, that, when, you know, when I started writing it and I would share it with friends, everybody would go, I've worked with that person. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, but you don't want to get fired because you need the paycheck. So yeah, no, you, you got to create the image that you may not be quite stable as well, you know, like, oh, yeah, no, like have that. a big snake mug on yeah, your desk wrong with that. or something. Not wrong with that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, that's like, do you, nice. you live in Georgia, don't you? You yeah. get snakes there? Yeah, we do get snakes well, there. Like Whoa. that kind of snake. I don't like snakes. Oh, really? You don't like snakes? No, the last time I was at the, I have a farm just south of town, and I was, we were moving a some snake concrete, farm? not not a snake farm, <laughs> but I was moving a thing, and then there was like a, a one of those under it, and only my laundry man knows for sure how scared oh, wow. I really was. It was. Was it a rattlesnake? Yeah, it was a rattlesnake. Well, see, I came across a rattlesnake out in the Hollywood Hills once. I was walking around, I was, you know, going through dumpsters, and, yeah, I, right. <laughs> and I, came, and I, I, and I nearly stood on a rattlesnake, and it rattled. And then I went, huh, and I walked away, you know, in much the same condition as you're right. describing for yourself. And then I thought, no, that actually, that's quite good that a rattlesnake does that. It's like, get out of here, I'm poisonous, and off you go. Right, yeah, I they... wish I'd met some people like that earlier yeah, in my life. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if they would only rattle yeah, yeah. when you said if hello. Can you just check, do you rattle? Yeah. Well, that's like one of the things in the book is is to get people to leave you alone, which is what you want. Uh, right. Wear a neck brace. Do, have you ever walked in and started a conversation with someone wearing a neck brace? No, I no, never. No, you're never no, going to no, start no. the conversation because you don't want to hear the story of how they got the neck brace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Yeah. Do you know what's a good thing as well? If someone's going to sit next to you on an airplane or on the train or stuff like that, before they sit down, make a preemptive strike. Like when they come in and you're like, oh, they're going to talk to me. You go, hi, how are you doing? Really <laughs> great to see you. And they're like, oh, yeah. No, like, yeah. I'll go over yeah. here. Yeah. Is this tear free? You bet it is. Yeah. yeah. I just put a bunch of religious pamphlets on the seat. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, please sit down. Sit down. I want to talk to you about <laughs> something. Yeah. So listen, I didn't know you had a, an actual farm. What do you do in your farm? Ah, do, do we, you know, we plant about 400 acres. It's it's a great little getaway. But when you do this for a living, you're always on the road. It's kind of where you unplug. Last year, I have to tell you the story. I was, I'm down there and I'm on the tractor with a bush hog. You know, you I cut know the, the bush grass, hog. the bush yeah, hog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bush and, hog is, oh, well, never mind. Yeah, uh. and, but, I, but, I'm, but I hear, the, I feel the phone vibrating, but I, you know, I'm saying, hold on, I'm on the tractor. Hold on, hold on. And the time it takes to turn the tractor off, and it's Mark Burnett my boss oh, from Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah. And he's like, in all my years in Hollywood, I don't believe I've ever had someone say, hold on, I'm on the tractor, let me turn the tractor. <laughs> he goes, this really isn't an act, is it? You really are. You really man. are that yeah, guy, so. yeah. But I, what I want to know is, because I have sat on a tractor myself, how did you feel the phone vibrating on the damn tractor? You're on a tractor. You're like... <laughs> and then you, you must have the thighs of a ninja. Well... <laughs> Well, like, I'm out here right now filming Fifth Grader, but I have another job on Hollywood Boulevard to do this Spider-Man yeah. thing. Yeah! That's what we did? Yeah, yeah. no, that's right. <laughs> have you seen this? I, I actually have seen Spider-Man. It, it, I mean, it's frightening, it, and the, 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 the Chewbacca is quite dangerous. Yeah, the yeah. Spider-Man, you will wake up in the middle of the night with a full body shiver just thinking about <laughs> that one. It's... Now, so listen, so your farm's in Georgia. Do you yes. go out, when you're down in the south, do you actually, do you go to the NASCARs and do uh, the redneck stuff? Do you actually go and When do we're not looking for UFOs, yes. No, I mean, saying, that's... Uh, uh, hey, NASCAR <laughs> is popular, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, but you've got... Have you ever seen a UFO then? Have you? Oh, I'm just, I might as well ask you. <laughs> I want a date with my sister one time we both got picked up. Yeah, it's... Uh, 
So you've got this whole... I, I have no prejudice about this. I just didn't. I happen to be a little bit interested in the NASCAR. You I like thought. the NASCAR? I do, oh, I actually. I like the yeah. NASCAR. Carl Edwards is here. He's a NASCAR driver. Very nice Very man. good NASCAR yeah, yeah. driver. Yes. Yeah, he's good. So do you go and see it then? Do you yeah, have the yeah, full Yeah, I was actually and... last year, Talladega, Talladega, Alabama. Huge, oh, yeah. Unbelievable. I was the Grand Marshal, the, you know, the gentleman starts your engines thing. And, and I have written... Redneck joke since 1988. I've done a calendar since 1990. This is a level of redneck. <laughs> and we are walking through the infield, and I swear there's like a 75-year-old woman that's got a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. I think the tooth was holding it in there. And, and, and she's like, hey, Jeff. And I turn around, and she pulls her top up. <laughs> yeah. Did you get her number? <laughs> 75 years old? Yeah. They, well, because yeah. after 54, I yeah, still you look don't, it. You yeah. don't care anymore, right. Do you believe that stuff about the demographic? Well, I mean, I'm, do, do you know I'm backstage that? watching, laughing, going, they, those are the people with the money, and yet they don't care about it. I know, it's, it's, I don't understand it. I don't I, am I stupid? It's because it's like, I was saying this on the show, like, you know, they say if you buy, you know, your brand loyalty, if you buy a product when you're 18, then you'll buy it when you're in your 50s. And I'm like, I was buying cocaine when I was 18. I don't know right, that. Yeah. So I don't understand where that is, you know. I, and if I was still buying it, I'd be dead. So yeah, that doesn't exactly. count. Um, <laughs> I don't under, do you still buy the same stuff you bought when you were 18 years old? I don't think so. No. no. I mean, even, you know, like shaving cream and things are like, I'm tired of it. You know, you just go That's find right. the new stuff. The it's new shaving cream. For the sensitive really? skin. Really? What yeah. shaving cream do you use, Dad? Uh, <laughs> do you use the stuff with the moisture? The, yeah, on? with the sensitive skin. Well, like Dad's, you know. So, because I'm getting up there. I'm 50. I have to work on Four it. Four more years. That's it. You're yeah, done. Yeah, nobody you cares. Can. I won't be on the show anymore. I've no, no, make the no. Most we, can't, we can't have you on. We have to. And because when I started on the show, he said, you've got to appeal to the young demographic. Graphic, got to dye your hair. I'm like, if I dye my hair, I'll just look like a creepy old guy chasing young men around. <laughs> and that's what I do when I'm not on TV. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chasing young men around. Well, it's 18 to 34 year old men, apparently. Is that the big? That's what you're after. Well, no, not me. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> ask you, because yeah. when we were doing this thing, at the back part of it, it's, yeah. it's real jobs. We went through real... real what's job. the worst job you ever had? I mean, because this is a good job. What's... <laughs> uh, I think the worst job I ever had was loading mailbags at Glasgow Airport in the winter. Oh, uh, that's can't. a bad job, because the planes are coming in, it's free, it's like yeah. it's cold as Siberia, and you're loading the mailbags with people who hate you, because your dad got you the job in the first place. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Making how much? Ooh, I think it, the equivalent would be about five or six bucks a day. Yeah. Yeah. I had, when I was in high school with Six Flags, you know, kind of like Six Flags over Georgia, and my best friend talked me into to going to work there because he said we were going to work at the log ride and that it was going to be like the perpetual wet t-shirt contest oh, yeah, all summer yeah, long. Yeah, absolutely. So we go down there and sign up. Needless to say, we didn't get the log ride. No. He, he had to wear this horrible French beret and shovel M&Ms into the little bags, <laughs> and I sewed names on sailor hats. <laughs> <laughs> and we were doing the whole thing to meet girls. Girls will not talk to a guy no, sewing no, no, names no. on sailor hats. <laughs> and then we would pass the guys from the log ride, and they were like, Pamela, Pamela Anderson was yeah. here this morning in a linen shirt. That 71-year-old awesome. yeah. woman from Talladega, yeah, she's here yeah, every day. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the guy I got. Ah, we we, we got to go. Jeff, it's always nice, uh, n nice to see you. <laughs> That was nice to see you. I think my teeth are beginning to fall out well, because I'm approaching 54. 54, yeah, and it doesn't that. matter. Who cares after yeah, that? Yeah, I know, after 54. I still can't get round this. <laughs> are you on the phone while I'm talking to Jeff Fox? He, he, he is. You, you, did you hear him on yeah, the phone? Yeah, he's on the phone. on the phone. Are you doing on the phone? It's Jeff Fox. Well, this, is not any, this is not the usual crap we have here. <laughs> It hurts. It, it does, it does. I'm sorry. He I, wouldn't have done that if I was 18 to 34. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy, everybody, we'll be right back. Jeff Foxworthy, everybody, Jeff Foxworthy.
Uh, there's no, there's no horseradish in the Bible, is there? I don't think there is. No, uh, I mean, no. are there any recipes at all in the Bible? There's, there's, like, one there's like manna, you know. For yeah, manna. manna. Yeah. But manna is, it was from heaven. It wasn't like a, you know, here's how you make manna. I don't, th I don't think God was giving out the recipe. No, he I don't. He was making it every day. Yeah, I, it's, I don't think. There's got, I bet you there's, a, there's everything in there. There's bound to be. Do a you recipe. know the Bible? Do you know it well? Pretty good. You know, the, the, the thing on the show, though, I because I've got this accent and my Southern education, so I butcher every name in the Old Testament. I'll, the cards that I hold, it's just phonetic pronunciations of the Old Testament names. And, and I have a little thing in my ear where they'll, they'll say things like, Jeff, ask the question, but go to commercial before you reveal the answer. Half the time, they're just dying laughing, going, no, 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 that's not even close, not even close. So, <laughs> it's not Nebuchadnezzar, it's <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> They're hard, some of these things. Oh, though. yeah, like But also, if, if you're doing the American Bible Challenge, there's a lot of different people, you know, who get very different ideas about how the Bible should be, you know, you know, read. So don't they get mad at you if you, like, because they might think a right answer is a wrong answer. And a, you know what I'm saying here? I have no idea. What yeah, you, you do. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, well, you know, there's, and that's one of the things to consider is you've got all these different translations of the Bible. So when we ask a question, you may have like eight possible answers, you know, and they'll say it could be this, 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 or this. So, This is too hard a game show hard. for me. Yeah. 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 Do you think you'd do well at it? I mean, it's, it's what was this, smarter than a uh, fifth grader? Smarter than, smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I like that one. I do too, yeah, as yeah. long as they gave me the answer, because everybody thought they could do it. And yeah, yeah. It's hard, It's though. hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because they asked me if I would do the celebrity. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, no, no. man. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kids kept wanting me to play the celebrity thing. I said, it's just better if everybody thinks Jeff is an idiot than, yeah. to, than to actually prove them right. Yeah, yeah. Well, how many kids you got? I got two. Yeah, what, what two, age are they? Two now? daughters, 20 and 22. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough uh, time of life for you, man. Yeah, I know. It's. <laughs> well, you're it's, kind of it's, the other it's, side. No, of it now, because yeah. we're empty nesters this year. I haven't worn pants since September. It's <laughs> awesome, man. It's, uh, the first time was the show tonight. So. Yeah. You got nice legs? You do squats? <laughs> Where do you live now? Yeah, Atlanta. I, I, Atlanta. I, I grew up in Atlanta. I was yeah, out yeah, here for about nice, yeah. seven or eight years. But yeah, back a long time. Yeah. You ever go to Nashville? Yes. Do you really? Yeah. I like Nashville. Yeah. I, you I, walk around drinking, drinking moonshine, 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 walking down the yeah. street, turning my guitar. Playing yeah. your guitar. <laughs> yeah. Do you play music? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but I love music. It's, I, I think every comedian is a comedian because we all secretly want to be a musician. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I've never yeah. met a comic that didn't want to be a musician. Yeah, I know. And I've never met a musician that didn't want to be an actor. Really? Yeah. And then when they try, you ever see Mick Jagger at the acting? It's not so good. Oh, bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to perform. And just how many up. parts yeah. can you do like yeah, that? Right? That's right. <laughs> No, Jurassic Park 4. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the worst thing about the T-Rex. He can't even reach his nipples. Oh, like that's that. right. Oh, you know, that's, that's why the T-Rex was... It's, that's why he's in a bad mood. He's he like, can't ah! even reach him. <laughs> there you go. So what about the blue collar guys? You been doing any of that stuff recently? Well, we, we did, I did a thing with Bill and Larry last year. Ron was, Ron by himself is a little bit. Ron's crazy, but, yeah. I mean, he's crazy. But he's so funny, like half the stuff he did on the blue collar tour, we'd be sitting around having dinner and he's like, did I ever tell y'all about the time I got kicked out of a bar? And he would tell these stories and we would just be beating the table going, you have to tell this on stage. Yeah, and he, and he, and he does. Yeah. He's very, he's, he's the only comedian I've ever met who is exactly the same. Yeah. Yes. Like he'll go, he's like, that's who he is, and he goes up there and he keeps drinking and yeah. he keeps talking. Yeah. Well, we, we, would, we, we would do the Blue Collar Tour if we had two shows. The first show, I would make him mix Sprite and Coke together to look like Scotch, uh -huh. because if it was Scotch by the second show with that French <laughs> Texas accent, nobody could understand a word he said. You know, so, no matter how funny it is, if they don't understand yeah, you it, got, that's matter. one yeah. of the essential rules of comedy. They got to know what you're saying. Know what you're saying. Yeah. Unless it's silent comedy. You ever thought about that? Go, you do great in France. <laughs> Jerry Lewis did. Jerry yeah, Lewis yeah. did. Yeah, but did he do silent comedy too? Just lady well, means I, something <laughs> different in France. I always heard that he was like huge in France. Yeah. I had a friend that was collected comedy things, and so my wife and I were going to France. He said, please just get me like a Jerry Lewis poster or a book. We went all over France, and, and nobody had ever heard of Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I think it's a little bit like the Hasselhoff in Germany effect. You know that people think, you know, David Hasselhoff yeah. is huge, huge in, Germany. in Germany. You go to Germany, like, I think this is a kidding. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> this is a guy who talks to the car. No. <laughs> what do you watch on TV? You watch Downton Abbey? My wife watches down, so I'm kind of, you know, by proxy. Yeah, you have. Because I still want her to be my girlfriend sometimes, so yeah, I watch I hear it, you. you know, I watch it too. So. Otherwise, you yeah. start learning yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch, you know what my wife makes me watch and now I've become addicted to is the House Hunters International. You ever watch that? No. Oh, man, you've got to see that. No, what is that? Well, it's a show that if you watch it with your, your wife, it gets you laid. And, <laughs> yeah, House I mean, Hunters uh, International. <laughs> Because we would do that. We would yeah, watch that. Of course, if, that yeah. if that's the end you result. You want to watch House Hunters International? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> no, it's great. It's about these people that look for houses, but it's always like Canadians looking for houses in inappropriate areas. So it's like, you know, Sam and Bill are really, uh, you know, tired of busy Toronto, so they want to go to worn torn Kosovo for a night. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fantastic. All right, I'm watching it. Yeah, yeah. what do you I'm watch then? You watch the Duck Dynasty? And I, you know, you know what? I, I get like, I, we just finished watching like uh, True Detective. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I, I, you oh, know, good we're, stuff. I, we're in the yeah. age now and the, the killing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's yeah. good stuff. You know, family friendly entertainment. When yeah. You, when you're not watching the Bible Challenge, let's watch somebody get killed. So, uh, <laughs> well, it takes it the other way. Yeah. You know, you got your wholesome and then you got your. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True Detective's pretty rough. Yeah, though. it was, but it, uh, it was, Matthew McConaughey was amazing. Yeah, no, he's good. He's a very. You can do his voice, can't you, Jeff? All right, all right. There you are. <laughs> very good. Now, can he do me? <clears throat> yeah, I think he can actually. Can you do? Can you do Jeff? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, let's see. If you're plugged into a wall and work for a late night douche, you might be a robot skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Remember right back with Jeff Fox over there. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Jeff Foxworthy. We're out of time, Jeff. Oh, no, no. Wow, wait. that went fast. No. Uh, you in therapy? Uh, <laughs> ah, come on, oh, man. Okay. Were you ever uh, slapped around by uh, grade school teachers when you were young? I had, no, I don't think so. I, I don't come on, I think that's called denial. What? You know, but, but like we grew up in the age where it was okay to like be beat up kids. Well, it's yeah. Like, it's like, Seriously, like my, my oldest daughter, when she was five, she gets a computer, you know, she can do the whole thing. We got, remember, we got the, like the wooden paddle with the rubber band and the red ball. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. yeah. yeah. And, then, and then you would hit it about four times, the rubber band would snap, the ball would go across the room, break something, and you get a spanking with a paddle. So I'm like... Kind of turning me on a little yeah. bit now, yeah. <laughs> I used to be, you guys, did you ever get the, the, the clackers? The, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, you go like that, and yeah. then, yeah. And then they <laughs> yeah. would splinter and, and go yeah. in their <laughs> eye. Yeah, you go like, they had to try and... Some of the stuff they let it, you remember, like, the, the wood burning kit was like, it was... I the, think that the, may it, have been a southern thing. Was that a southern thing? Does anybody remember that the, 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 and it would get, yeah. Really? It was a sharp metal stick that, that would heat up to like 5,000 degrees and then you would burn a picture into a piece of wood and, 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 and the cord on it was like that long so you would always be next to the drapes while you were playing with it. Oh! It like, that's did, a, now, did you have lawn darts? Lawn darts, yeah, yeah, I still have scars. What a great yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, and, and on the front of the box, you had a plastic circle in front of you, and you were supposed to throw the darts into the plastic circle right. in front of your friends with a dart, you know, yeah, a 12 yeah, yeah. pound dart. But I had regular darts. I had an older brother, and he told me, because I didn't know any better, he said, This is how you play darts. You hold the dart board, and I throw the darts. <laughs> and that's true, and I still have dart marks on my body. Uh, we would throw the lawn darts up in the air, you know, and I would always say, if, if you catch one of those with your head, you're getting coloring books for Christmas the rest of your <laughs> life, you know? I mean, it's, it's done. Yeah, yeah, it'd be pretty bad. But now it's like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. My kids are still young. And they go, uh, you know, you, you can't spank them. You've got to be nice to them and, and, I know, I, and deal with their feelings and stuff. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a problem. Now, did you have, like, my parents were too lazy. We had the swing set. Yeah. They were, my parents were too lazy to actually dig a hole and go buy a bag of concrete. So our swing set, anytime you swung, the legs of it would be like, womp, womp. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
<laughs> yeah, good times. I'm amazed we survived, to be honest. <laughs> I think, though, that uh, all comedians have some kind of adversity in childhood. All yeah. good comedians. Do you? You think it's a little bit of the... Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a... Well, yeah, and, and, and probably, I mean, because my, my folks got divorced when I was young, and I, there you I, are. I, I could make my dad laugh, and so right. that was it, you know. Yeah, you didn't really, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is? So you're cured. <laughs> That's what I pointed out. Jeff, I've never felt better. Yeah, no, you're fine, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, you're fine. You're, you're, uh, that'll be uh, five hundred dollars. So, so what was your adversity? Because you, I'm I grew up in Scotland in the 1970s, <laughs> man. What do you want? <laughs> what wasn't my adversity? Pick something: dentistry, <laughs> sniffing glue, abusive teachers. Well, that you know, that was another thing as a kid because, like, now my mom, if she, if she sees me drink a beer, my mom just has a fit. And like when I was a child, she bought me model airplane glue, like by right, the right, bags right. full. And you're in your room trying to build models. I, I'm higher than ACDC. Yeah, yeah. Thing, you know? <laughs> and and then you'd get it put together. And my dad would literally give us firecrackers to blow the models yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's a good dad. Well, that is yeah. a good dad. And you knew they were safe because you had to drive across the state line <laughs> to buy them from a man that had three fingers, you know, so. Can I tell you, yeah. though, the, the moment I absolutely decided to become an American citizen, I was on the I-40 and I was driving through the South, I think coming out of, coming out of Tennessee, I think, right? I'm driving along and I see a store. A, a drive through store where I drove in and you could buy fireworks, whiskey, a handgun, and a shirt. And I thought, Without I want to be car. part of this, man! <laughs> I want to be part of this! Without getting out of the car! Without getting out of the car! Anyway, we're out of time. Good luck with the Bible Challenge, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. a top-rated show on, on Game Show Networks. Which That's good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's, it's, you're like the Breaking Bad of the Game Show Network. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeff Breaking Fox, Riley, everybody. Did you uh, uh, did you go to the uh, the big Living Legends of Country thing the other night? What was it called? Oh, uh, the CMA Awards. Yeah, I'm you have to come. One year. I think I went once. You did? Yeah, I did think Did you so. love it? It was all right. I you don't remember. There's a lot of... Uh... A lot of drinking going yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> there was a lot. It's like, it's not like a Hollywood event. It's more like a kind of big drunk party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Redneck party. Yeah, it was... Uh, did you have a good time?